Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Dan Thompson, Product Manager, and uh, uh, we're going to be talking about end-to-end uh, -end testing. Basic objective today is we're going to discuss uh, why and how to do end-to-end -end testing, and we're going to review the capability of two different software products, the ABTS software and the STDI software, uh, in conjunction with our SMRT relay test system uh, for testing protection schemes for the end-to-end -end, uh, testing is required. The power systems are operating very close to stability limits, and that calls for a very high-speed fault clearing in the transmission lines. And due to technology advancements, uh, communication-assisted tripping technology has become widely accepted in the industry. And GPS synchronized end-to-end -end test uh, test the complete protection subsystems, including the communication links between the relays. The development of the modern communication technology has inspired power system protection communication systems for line differential, phase comparison schemes, and distance protection, communication based protection, transfer trip schemes, etc. I'm going to focus in primarily on the line differential since it's uh, fairly simple to understand and, <coughs> and uh, very fast. Obviously, the line differential is still today the, the highest speed, most secure means of line protection. And typically, uh, as we all know, it's uh, current in equals current out. Uh, we'll have, in this case, I show a uh, optical fiber uh, a communication link between the, the two ends of the transmission line. And so when uh, fault is internal, uh, it operates very quickly and very secure, and hopefully when the fault is external, uh, it will not operate. For testing approaches, today we have non-secretives where you would take a test system, you would do a pickup test on one end of the line by increasing the current and uh, monitoring where the, uh, where the system trips. And uh, you can also do a state playback where you apply a pre-fault and a fault, and then you can time it. You can even play back a digital fault recording from a digital fault record uh, in the IEEE C37.111 contrade standard. So to do a non-synchronous test, we would take our system, we would break it up, we would apply the current monitor when the relay picks up, uh, then we could apply a pre-fault fault, fault monitor how fast it operates on one end. But it really doesn't test the whole system. And I think primarily from, you can look at an end-to-end -end test in a couple of different ways. One is you're testing the whole scheme, the whole system, which is a good thing. Um, but that, that takes a lot of planning, a lot of coordination. The approaches, we also have synchronous tests, and that is that's what I want to get to now. And that's the end-to-end -end test. And there's a couple of different ways to, to do this type of test. One is a a state playback where we're going to apply a pre-fault, fault and post-fault, and we'll monitor the operation or strength uh, depending on the type of test we're applying. Or we can play back a, a contrary file, uh, like a fault record. The contrary files can be produced by the ATP or MTP programs or other similar type of fault simulation software. Or you can take a, a fault record directly from a relay uh, or a digital fault recorder uh, and play that back. Uh, that leads a lot to uh, a little bit more discussion. Uh, primarily, one of the problems that we saw 20 years ago when we did this, this type of testing was a lot of the fault recorders were not um, connected to a GPS clock. Instead, they were using the old satellite, we all remember those, and, and the, the timestamp on the fault records was not quite as accurate uh, as we have today, where we're down to a, like a microsecond. Uh, so as a result, in, in, in two fault records as seen from the two ends of the line, uh, align them in time and create a new uh, a new uh, test file from that. To do the synchronous test, whether I'm doing a, 